Supporting Two Drink Minimum through the Amazon link is the next step in the evolution. Celebrity voice impersonator. Oh, part of people in the place to be was going on. It's me. It's me. I was here at nine o'clock. <laughs> I want you to know I was here at nine o'clock, and I was getting everything ready. And I was literally, I literally moved the cursor over to the start stream button, and my computer decided to freeze. Ah! My fucking computer has been fucking up a lot recently, and I need to take it in. But I can't afford to take it in, so I need you. Click the links in the description. Go to Twitching Widow Swag's going to help support the channel. So the channel can still be here in the future, don't you know? All right. But enough about that. Your king is done requesting his taxes from his servants here over on Riff.tv. <coughs> Oh, that voice takes up at me, apparently. Yes, uh, we are over here on Riff.TV. If you're watching this live, 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 live in a living color, if you will. If you're watching this on uh, the other channels, then you should be watching it on Riff.TV. But if you're not watching it live and you're watching it on Riff.TV, that's okay because you can get the streams. The streams, the streams are still there. The streams are still <gasps> down there. Yes, they are. Uh, you can just, yeah, yeah, you, you, you know, you've accessed it. Uh, this... It's Thursday, and if it's Thursday, it must be a different world. I know the time is a little screwy. There's pre, uh, there were, there were, you know, there were, I had shit to, I had shit to do. I couldn't, couldn't get to you uh, before now. But we're here now, and we're going to pate with a different world. This one is It's Greek to Me. This is where Ron and Dwayne uh, decide that they're going to join a fraternity, and the fraternity they decide they're going to join is Kappa Lambda Nu, Kappa Lambda Nu. Yes, it is. Uh, this is a classic one, and is is a lot about friendship, and uh, it's pretty apropos for me personally uh, this week. Uh, you don't necessarily need to know why, you just need to know this apropos for me this week. Uh, Alright, get it, got it good. Here it is. Season 2, episode 16. We're in the Allen era, baby. We are in the Allen era. We are in the Allen era. Yes, we is. Uh, this is going to start when it starts. Everything syncs up and everything's everything. Everything's everything. Good. If you're watching this live on Rift.tv, feel free to chat. Feel free to put in a request. Feel free to do all that stuff. Uh, my kingdom of Rift.tv has expanded, don't you know? Forget an impression of Willie. Then you finish half your drink. Mm. If Don Lewis breaks up and laughs, then you take yourself a sip. If Dwayne flips his shades, mm. you finish your drink. Yes, you do not. Ron gets shot down. Oh, if Walter makes a funny voice, that's a sip. If Kimberly Reese is called by her full name, that's two. If Freddy freaks out, then you sip on through. If Colonel Taylor's called Brad, then you take a sip. If we see a white student, or if Colonel, or if uh, uh, Mr. Gaines says, mm hmm. Both of those are one sip. Finish when you hear Kanishi. Wah! Uh, we gotta get through this. We got. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, come on, come on with the sinking. Ah, uh, the stuttering is killing me. Ugh. Ah! Uh. By the way, that was Mr. Phil Lewis, a.k.a. Hooch. 
And as everyone in the kingdom of two drink minimum knows, which is crazy. Ah, with the skippy! Oh, that is killing me. That's enough. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Miss uh, Whitley Gilbert and uh, Ron Johnson were both in uh, with the skipping stop with the I declare stop with the skipping riff uh, we're both in the uh, college classic school days by uh, brother Spike Lee Oh, the pledge, the pledge, the pledge scenario. It's fucking retarded. It's fucking retarded. I know a couple, I know a couple of actual brothers who decided that they were going to go through that scenario and then quit because they realized that's fucking retarded. That was Penny Gadget who just said that.
<laughs> ah, guess when? <laughs> Why don't you? I can't, oh Jesus Christ. Is she, what, what is she wearing? Is she wearing? Oh, oh Lord. Oh, oh Lord. That was, that was, that was a 19 year old Jasmine guy showing off her legs. Oh sweet evil Jesus. That was a 19 or 20 year old Jasmine guy. Showing off her legs on camera with the with the zoom in with the with the with the zoom with who who ain't crazy about that boy I who 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 oh oh Lord. Oh, palpitations, 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 and heart stoppages. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Ha, <laughs>
shit! Ron getting the backbone. Alright, Ron, I see you. I see you, big brother. <laughs> Poor Whitley. <laughs> Hmm. They never did move into a frat house. Why didn't they move into a frat house? Or why didn't Ron move into a frat house? That never did happen. Oh, it's that kid. Damn, what what is up with his hair? Good lord. That is a pompadour. That's not even a pompadour. That is a that is that is a that is a mullet. White student, by the way. That's like the first that's like the first thing I've seen in this episode and it's a white student. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Come on, you know you want to dance to the, you know, you, come on, come on, come on, you know you. Why wasn't he, why wasn't he more of a, a, a player on this show? Randall was, huh? That was like three minutes. They still had to entertain those kids the rest of the damn afternoon. <laughs> white student, white student, join Cabo Lamb the new. Come on, come on, the brotherhood. Come on, the brotherhood in this episode. Come on. I love these episodes. The episodes in which we see the relationships grow between the characters, especially Ron and Dwayne. Boy, Ron and Dwayne's relationship, it, it, I, that's the through story throughout really the rest of the series. And like even into the last episode, it's about their friendship. It's about 
uh, uh, their relationship with each other. It's about the dynamic of the relationship. It's about who's the one, who's who's the leader of that relationship. If there is is a leader, if there's a lead friend in that relationship, and how that plays to the other one. It's about it's about ego. It's about all that stuff, man. It's a, it's 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 just it's just good television, and you and you can see that here. The, the, the friendship, the, the, the brotherhood, the real life, like we're talking like the word brotherhood and frat brother and all that stuff. Like it, it, it's, but it's, it's, it's the brotherhood. It, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the fraternal nature of this relationship. Oh, that's just so good, man. It's just so good. This was good acting on Daryl and Bell's part. This was good acting on, on Kadeem's part. We see a lot of uh, good acting from Kadeem throughout the series. This is one of the first instances or one of the early instances Rather, where we see some really good acting on his part, some really good introspection on his part. He plays a gamut of, uh, of emotions in this one, as does Daryl. Uh, this is one of those episodes where they really aren't playing for the rest of the cast. Uh, a lot of the rest of the cast is in it, but they're really not playing for the rest of the cast. This is specifically, this story is about Ron and Dwayne. This story is about Ron and Dwayne's relationship and how it changes with this set of extraordinary circumstances. Uh, coming between them that was supposed to bring them closer together. Um, but man, uh, boy, boy, that's just good writing. That's just good TV writing. And they did it all in 22 minutes. That's just good TV writing. Oh man, you can't say nothing to me about the Allen era, boy. You can't say nothing to me about the Debbie Allen era. You can't say dick to me about the Debbie Allen era, boy. They, she had it. Whew. She had it down. She had, she had it down. She had it down. This was a classic one. Uh, we got to see Hooch, which is crazy. Um, this is a good episode. This was a really good episode. This is one of those episodes where, like, and the thing is, you didn't need other people in the episode. Whitley played a, a role in this one. Whitley had a little touching exchange there with her and Dwayne, and, and Whitley espousing the, the, the virtues of friendship. To Dwayne, somebody you would have thought would already know these virtues, but but he wasn't acting like he did. He wasn't acting like himself. Um, and he wasn't supporting his brother. He wasn't supporting his best friend. And uh, that's, 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 that's the moral here. That's the moral here. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you why this one is interesting that it came up when it came up and why it hit me halfway, you know, halfway a little bit, a little bit harder than it usually does. But, it, you know, it's, it's a good episode, boy. It's a, it's a great episode. Party people! I'm done talking about this episode. I need you to tell me what you think about this episode down there in the comments section. Like, share, subscribe if you're watching this on those. Uh, go over to uh, uh, riff.tv slash 0469 and find all of the different world streams if you want to bone up and catch up before we get to episode 17. I'm not gonna, I'm, by the way, I'm not looking these episodes up. Uh, beforehand, because I don't want to ruin uh, the the real time reviewness of it, um, and and the real timeness of it. But we're gonna be on episode 17 next week, same bat channel. Uh, I'm gonna try to get it done by about 5:30 uh, p.m. Pacific. It's a little bit earlier. Uh, if you watch this on Fridays, uh, and you're watching this on Daily Motion, uh, VidMe, or YouTube, it's because you're watching this on Daily Motion. Feed me your YouTube. Riff.tv is the place to be. Thursday nights, 5.30 Pacific time is going to be where you want to be. Uh, if you want to see this live, 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 and you want to chat with your boy, you want to drink along with your boy in real time, you can do that in real time anyway. The stream's going to be there for as long as Riff.tv is there, but I'm telling you right now, if you want to do it live, that's the time to do it. Go over to CafePress.com slash Surreal469. Get yourself something from the 2 Drink Room Swag store. We got a spreadsheet. Uh, account go over there slash the real four six nine get yourself something from the two drink minimum so wag store over there get all get all that stuff like share and subscribe share with more people help the channel grow in 2017 all that helps keep the lights on at the party and that much like the deep bond of friendship that if man I just I'm just it's, it's getting me right in the feels it's getting me right in the I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Much like the deep bond of friendship.
Keeping the lights on at the party? It ain't bad. Boom. Boom.